Warp activated. Fuel status marginal. on uh, modding the um, Famicom, Mini Famicom. Um, the latest mod that just came out, uh, can, you pretty much put every game on it. Uh, it looks like uh, I put actually took a thousand games off of, the, uh, off of the ROM set and put it on there and then I said no to any ones that, that, it, that the uh, hack claim would not work um, because of mapping or something. And so I wound up with about 825 games. And then I let the the uh, program auto go out and automatically get the um, the graphics. And I and because with so many games, I I use the compression. I don't know if that is something I needed to do or not. So the quality of the pictures will be a little lower. So get uh, so it's pretty pretty much. And I did the Japanese ROM set, of course, um, for the Famicom. I also have a. NES Mini, which I'm going to um, update again, because uh, I have 90 on it now, with, the, of course, the USA ROM set. Anyway, so here's all the... So far, I would say, like, 95% of everything seems to be working. I did have one. I forget what game it was, but there was one game that gave me an error, but... I'm not going to... I don't know what half of these games are, um, but they all seem to work. So you know this is a game I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to play, so I'm going to get out of it. I, uh, also with the new mod, you can do um, start, I, I set it for start and select, like RetroPie. So for start and select, I can get back out to the menu without doing, uh, without hitting the reset. Um, by default, it's down, uh, down, and, and I think it's down and start, down and select. Um, there's also a a button combination to give you rapid fire. Um, I, didn't, I haven't used that yet, uh, but I did add it. Um, yeah, so you got all these games. You go to, and I put thirty. I put thirty-five in each folder. I think you could put up to ninety in each folder. Like it tells you, people say you should only put like thirty or thirty. You know, I put thirty-five. And because I let it automatically get all the graphics, you can see there's a few. I would say just like with the um, compatibility, I'd say like. Probably, I, I don't know how, I can't, uh, almost all of them are, are pretty accurate, but they're definitely, you can see a couple baseballs, you know they're not, these are not the right graphics for this. Um, so, I just don't have the time to go through 800 games and try to get the uh, things right. And I really don't want 800 games, I'd rather have like two, 300, but I also don't have time, to, and especially with the Famicom Mini, I don't really know what games are the good, the best games, you know, so I let this automate. When I do the NES Mini again, I will be a little more selective and uh, probably only have a few. Because I have 90 now, I'll probably go up to like two or 300. I don't think I'm going to try to have like like a 1,000 because what's the point? You, then you spend your whole time looking for games. But anyway, every time I say that, I always want to put a shitload of games on. Um... Baseball game. A lot of uh, a lot of cool shooters. I have no idea 
think this is? Maybe I'm escaping from prison or something? I don't know. Super jump. Alright. Bounces. Oh, what motorcycles after me? No! It's the best game ever! Oh! Fuck, this game sucks. So just like on the N the attack with the NES, it, it loads the basically like it loads the whole folder into RAM, and that's why you have to have folders because the the RAM isn't enough to, to put 800 games on the same screen. But apparently, when you use folders, it it just loads the, the, that folder as if that folder is a whole another mini, um, which is why you can go up to 90 because that's what you could do before they had folders, I guess, something like that. Um, and the amount of games isn't always exact because the games have different sizes. So, um, but it looks like there's 500 meg in the NES Mini in the Famicom Mini, and I mean, unless you have lots of repeats and hacks and all that stuff, you pretty much can fit the whole library, commercial library, in into the uh, both the minis. Um, I think I'm not 100 sure. Let's see here. Uh, and of course, you know it has some of the games that are missing from the from the Famicom, like um, Kid Icarus. And um, like there's a place to eat of them. And then, uh, it has those, at least the Japanese versions of those, because I put Japanese versions of the game in here. I'm not sure if you, I think you doesn't. I don't think it matters. But, um, you know, what's the point of, you know, keeping it authentic? I'll put all the USA versions on the, uh, on the SB. This is really good for my ADD. Just like, tons of games. And then I could play for like two seconds and then go out and play for another two seconds. I mean, Doug. This does not like the dig dug that I know. I think you gotta go into one of those holes or Probably the regular thing, though. Yep. There we go. That's more like it. Die hard. Alright. Some, 
like I said, most of the um, artwork seems to be seems to be accurate. But there's definitely some some of the artwork definitely doesn't go out accurately. And if you have the time, you can you can put it do it all perfect. If you have the time and the, the knowledge of all the games, like where which artwork's supposed to go which, and yeah, I suck at this game. Devil World. Oh. Yeah, this is a game that they didn't bring to the States. Is he holding a cross? Oh yeah, this would have sort of went over really well in the 80s. Even these days. The Devil's World is good. It's nice. Um, the uh, mod puts these in alphabetical order. I don't think at this time there's a way to arrange anything. Aside from picking how many uh, games can go in a folder, so it just does them out of the door, and what's ever left over, I guess, stays out here. Um, when it goes to attract mode, it seems to only go to the, a, a game that's outside the folder. So in my case, it's one game. Um, I think this is one of the Final Fantasy games. I could be wrong, but um, it's one game. It, it, it'll 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 look for a game. It'll keep going up to the folders and hitting them, but nothing happens. And then the, he goes up to this game, and this game comes on. So if you set up your folder count, I think you can set it up if you do your folder count right. I think you can get more games on the front, you know, or maybe, I could be wrong, maybe if I just left it like this, maybe it would go into attract mode here. I haven't tried it yet. Actually, that's probably, I'm guessing that's what it would do if I didn't do anything for a while. I'll try that later. So then it would go into attract mode and just stay in this folder and run all these games. Or, or at least the games it finds that are on the original set. Because I know on the last NES Mini Hack, it would only do track mode for the games that it originally had. So maybe it's going to look for those games. So uh, whatever folder you're in, it probably pick a different game if it one's in there, I'm guessing. And I'm just speculating because I, I have no idea. I'll have to just let it run for a while. Um, I guess I don't want this go too long. I've already been doing this for too long, but you can see that you get all the games here. It was really not hard to do. It just took a while. It, they, uh, the mod makes you um, it shuts off the unit, and you, and you you actually have to keep turning it back on into developer mode while you're loading the games into the Famicom Mini uh, because of uh, it cannot. I guess you can't load as much at the same time. Um, you can't, can't load that big size of kernel at the same time, so it does it in like stages. So, uh, but took it. I think it took like four or five to, um, runs to finally get it all uploaded. This, this works a lot better if you can read Japanese. But you figure it out. And there's definitely some games I can't play because I don't read Japanese. 
I know, I know they they um, translated a lot of games. So if I really wanted to play them, I could probably find translations for some of them. Um, you got your Donkey Kongs, you got your. Uh, pretty sure this is one of them that were originally on the unit. Yes, I agree. Zelda 2, who's got the Rockman games. This is not Punch Out. This is one of the ones that has the one graphics. If this is a different boxing game, but Punch Out's on here somewhere, I think. Uh, CVS, there's another version of CVS here somewhere, too. Yoshi no Tamago. This is, uh, I don't know what this is. This is Zelda. Oh, it's just Zelda. It's, it's a different Zelda. It's probably just the one that, that, that I probably had a ROM for versus the one that's was included on here. Because I have a save on the other one. to stop now. That is the Famicom Mini with about 825 games. Booyah! And if you're going to do this, have fun. Goodbye.